New legislation hopes county correctional facilities will add new revenue to New York counties, including Chautauqua and Cattaraugus. Out-of-state inmates will be able to be housed in local jails and help offset costs to taxpayers. Cable 8's Katie Cummings talked with Assemblyman Joe Giglio, who helped sponsor the bill. As counties statewide struggle to balance their budgets, a recent assembly bill looks to relieve the burden of mandates by bringing out-of-state inmates to local facilities. The inmates would only serve 90-day to one-year sentences, which are considered misdemeanors by the state. They have an asset. If they have vacant cells, they can take out-of-state inmates when they couldn't do that before. And so that's a revenue source that doesn't come from your property tax or your sales tax or any other fees that are charged within the state of New York. It comes from a source all brand new. All states can choose to house its inmates within county correctional facilities. However, Giglio hopes the state's natural boundaries will benefit particular areas. And there has to be a need in, in, in the surrounding states. Like I said, in the New England states will help the North Country. Uh, I believe that because we're on the southern tier and, you know, the, our district, you know, we end on the, we end at the Pennsylvania state line. So I'm hoping that that'll be, that'll allow those inmates uh, to come to our facilities and raise some revenue again for the counties. Counties will not be responsible for any of the costs associated with the inmates. Those counties that have the need will be paying the freight. Our counties that receive the inmates won't be doing the transferring. They, they would be the counties of origin would do the transferring to us and then come and pick them up and take them back to those to the other states. Giglio says the revenue amount will be up to each particular county as they negotiate with other states. He believes most facilities will see how everything works and what kind of revenue they can raise before the bill bears fruit. In Olean, Katie Cummings, Time Warner, Cable 8 News.